Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today we're going to be making this short little animation. Um, so for this the main focus is on this little shape morph thing. Um, so it's morphing into a shape that is not just your average shape that is here. But also in this little animation we do have a little just ball dropping down and then the arrow just zooming off. Um, so if you want to skip just to see how this um, shape changes, you can just click down at the bottom left um, and that'll bring you to the time when I start working on that. But if you want to see how this whole process is made, then you can just keep watching from here on in. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a new project and then we'll create our composition. Um, so we'll just name it Shape Morph. Um, yeah. Um, so we'll just set that to 1920 by 1080, 60 frame rate, just because it's going to be quite a short thing. Seven sections should be good. And background color, yep. Um, so now what we'll do is um, just go ahead and create our background layer. So just new solid. And I think we're going to go for an orange this time. So um, just a nice sort of vibrant orange is pretty good. Yep. Um, so then what we're going to do is go ahead and import our um, icon slash shape that we want to transform into that might not be a normal sort of shape that's here. Okay, so I just imported this arrow icon. Um, so I'll just grab that and put that on top. And with this orange solid, what we'll do is just um, lock that. And then we'll also shy it. If you don't see this little icon, you can just go down to toggle switches slash modes. And then you can shy it. And then at these... Um, changes tabs these are like the controllers um we can just click that and then um it's gone and then also we can't accidentally drag this and move it um so right now we've got this arrow icon um so it's just an adobe illustrator file just to, for reference um for later on so now we're just going to create our um ellipse um and what we want to do when we create it is make sure we've got nothing selected and then you could just hold shift and then um, that's good except what it will do is create an ellipse um, and not a actual path um, so it's just what you have to do is hold shift and alt and then as you can see it's creating a path and it's under a shape layer but um, you can see it just says path so it doesn't count as a technically um, ellipse sort of thing um, so we can see the anchor point isn't quite center so if we just hit Y which is this, the pan behind tool and then we just drag this and what I actually um, found out um, just a little bit ago is if you hold control then you can lock it to like these specific points so you just hold control while you're dragging around and then you can lock it onto the center which is really uh, neat um, so then in this align window if you don't have it just window and align um, we'll just align it to the center of make sure it's um, set to composition. So now that we've got that we might just bring it down a little bit um, and then we'll just put down the transparency a bit so we can just see the arrow icon just make it slightly bigger just so it fits right there and we'll put that opacity back up. For right now we'll just hide this arrow icon um, and we'll go ahead and animate this falling in. Um, so if we just hit P position um, that's going to keyframe, so we'll just keyframe um, that center point and we'll bring that up a bit then we'll go up a few frames and just bring it up just till it's out of the composition and then we'll go down and then what we'll do is we'll go slightly past the point um, of the center just so it sort of goes in and then sort of um, almost sort of looks like it's bouncing in so it isn't just a straight flat bounce into so if we just right click the first one we'll go easy ease out so we'll ease out of that position and then the middle one will go easy ease so it does easy ease in and easy ease out and then the last one will do easy ease in. So now we can just have a look at that. So it sort of does that nice little easy ease. Yeah we might just make it a bit quicker. Gotta make this bit a bit quicker as well. Now we'll make it a bit slower and we'll 
we'll see what that looks like. So we've got a little weird thing happening right here is it's actually going further than that point. So if we just go ahead and select all of these and right click and just go to keyframe interpolation and then we just go to linear then we're not going to have that anymore so it'll look fine. So now we can just see it goes in and then it sort of pushes into its place. So we might just bring that a bit lower and then yep that's cool. Um, so we'll just add motion blur so if we just go to these controls we'll enable motion blur and then we'll put motion blur on this shape layer. So now we've got that, what we're going to do now is um, transform it into the arrow. So if you've just skipped that little bit, now you'll come to here. And what we've done is we've imported this arrow icon. Um, so I've just got as an illustrator file. Um, you can use whatever icon you want. Maybe you've just got a PNG. It could even be like just a normal um, with like a solid white background or whatever. Um, that's fine because we won't actually be using this file. We're just using it as a reference for this shape layer. Um, so we'll bring down the transparency of this shape layer so we can see the arrow icon through it and we'll bring down the transparency of the arrow icon slightly as well. Um, so with this shape layer we're just going to go ahead and open that and then to contents ellipse path 1 and then in this path after it's just come down and into position then we'll just keyframe where it is with the path right now and then what we're going to do is um, bring it and we're going to change the path so it fits to this arrow. So what you could do is you could right click this, go to um, create shapes from vector layer and you could have these shape, the shape for the arrow. Um, currently it's in two groups because I created it that way in Illustrator but say it's just one group. And then you could copy this path keyframe and put it there except what can happen with that is it can um, sort of twist into shape and you can't actually change how it does that sort of thing. Um, so this way might take a bit longer but it does definitely look much better. So now we're just going to go ahead and set a keyframe there and then we're just going to drag these points to um, what we want them to be. If, so if we just hit G for the pen tool um, then we can just start dragging these points to their um, spots we want them to be. So if we just drag each point to their specific position um, and don't worry about the curves right now but as long as you get them to their right corners um, then I'll show you how you can fix those curves up after we've done that. Okay so we've got all these points where we want them to be and it looks quite weird because there's all of these um, curves here that's fine so um, with your pen tool still selected if you hold alt and then you click on these it actually puts them into straight um, angles instead of having those curves so it pretty much just deletes those curves and puts them into straight um, angles so then just make sure it still looks good and then oh I think we just got a bit of a bit here yep okay Oh. So now we can just go ahead and delete that arrow icon and then with this we can just see that it changes. Um, so as we can see in this little spot we've got it, it actually twists around here. So just an easy way to fix that is what we can see is um, if we just go around to here um, we can see on the first frame there this frame is go uh, this um, section is going towards there and then around there. So if we just take that arrow icon back, so just an easy way to fix this is just go to around here, right? Grab your pen tool, grab the shape, bring it out to where it looks good, and then it'll pretty much go around, and then just bring it so it goes sort of around each other so it's going like that now we've got another little twist happening here like that so then you can just make sure they don't twist just like that so you're just setting some little keyframes there so they go to that position instead of just trying to go straight to there and 
making it all twisted. But sometimes they don't act twisted. Um, like when I first made this, they didn't get twisted. Um, I don't know how you can fix that, but yeah, it's just a simple little fix. After you've done that sort of transformation, um, just to fix that. Um, so if that's all you want to see, then this tutorial is done. Um, so thanks for watching on your part. Um, but obviously if you want to watch this whole thing, then keep watching. Um, so now we'll just delete this arrow icon. We'll bring up the transparency of the shape. And then, so then we've got this nice little part. Um, so then it goes to here. And then if we just set a keyframe for the position there. And then, yep. So then we'll just go and we'll bring it slightly to the right so it sort of pulls back and then it quickly zooms off. And then we'll set a keyframe when it goes really quick up there. Um, so we'll just make sure that the timing for that, we might make it go a bit quicker. Just see how that timing is. Cool. Um, and again, we've still got the motion blur that we had there. Um, so it's got that motion blur still. So that's this tutorial done. Um, now we've got this cool little ball drop, transform into the arrow, and zoom off. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're able to um, make your own sort of shape transformation. Um, so this can obviously work with any sort of shape. Um, I just used an arrow for this example. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.